life that shows what humility is really like other than the Lord Jesus Christ. It is absolutely amazing. And tonight we're going to look at a verse in John chapter 18 and it says this. Then the detachment of soldiers arrested Jesus. That is amazing to me because, you know, here's the thing. When Jesus, we know he's God. He's king of kings and lord of lords. And the amazing thing is he was born in a manger and he lived a perfect life and then he died on the cross and rose again the third day. But many times we forget that Jesus humbled himself and loved you so much and put you first. And what he did was he allowed himself to be arrested. Wow, that is amazing to me that God would allow himself to be arrested. I often wonder what that might look like. And I want you to watch this because this may have been what that arresting was all about.
down here at Nine Hill, you guys learn a little bit about this month's virtue. You see, back home in Texas, at the big old humongous state fair, there I was, stuck in the porta potty. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. That's my story on humiliation. No, 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 no. I got a different. You see, when I was growing up back on the ranch, I had huge one of these an awful lot. I had the road piece of cattle, horses, pigs, and goats, and everything else. I had to get real good at it, too, when they was farming to try to escape. Matter of fact, I practice all the time, even on my little cute sister and the pet dog. But you see, that was part of the problem. Because I got my hind britches on them. Yep. I was practicing the exact opposite of humility. I was practicing arrogance. I would tell anybody who listened how good I was with the rubber. Yeah, but well, one of these days at our church, we had a big old beautiful picnic in Easter Day. There were hundreds of people out there enjoying the beautiful weather and all the good food. There were a bunch of little chitlins just like y'all hiding up in a wagon up at the top of the hill. One of those little whippersnappers accidentally kicked the old handbrake. That wagon started rolling down the hill right to the dessert table. Well, I'm ashamed to admit it, but my first thought wasn't to save those chickens. No, my first thought was, this is my chance to show everybody how good I am with the rope. So I grabbed my rope, and I swung it, and I flung it, and missed the whole wagon. Not to be deterred, I decided to try again. And I swung it, and I flung it again, and missed the whole thing again. Well, about that time, Sarah Jane came running up, and she grabbed my rope, and she let it fly, and it took hold. She able to rip that hair away and stop that wagon full of chimneys right before it smashed into the desserts. Yeah, I was pretty humbled by that, because everybody wanted to look at Sarah Jane. But you know what? All she could say was, I just saw a need. I just let the road fly and the good Lord made it land. <laughs> yeah, she kept pointing all the good stuff up to the good man upstairs instead of at herself. I learned two things that day. Number one, I wasn't as good a rope as I thought I was. And number two, Humble pie sure don't taste too good going down, but it's an awful powerful lesson to learn.
Pastor, it's not Paige. No better name at all. <laughs> well, we got lovely party gifts over here off stage, but we want to make sure we want to make sure that they were good and clean when they left. So here you go, Phil. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.